Jeremiah Horrocks was born in 1618 and he died in 1641, so he was no older than 22. From the age of 14 onwards, he was making major discoveries in science in the field of astronomy. His mathematics was brilliant. He moved on to look at the transit of Mercury, he went on to look at the moon and its, its orbit around the Earth. As a result, all the shipping charts had to be changed and then he was most famous for the transit of Venus. And he predicted, using trigonometry, the exact time when it was going to um, appear in front of the sun again, eight years after the one they already knew about. It's our plan to try and raise some money for both a sculpture, a statue for Liverpool and Preston, and an educational project as well involving young people. The thing with Jeremiah Horrocks is when you think most kids these days are doing the GCSEs of 15, 16, he was already making these fabulous discoveries, okay? He was discovering gravity, but he didn't have a word for it. And it's written on your pound coins or your banknotes, standing on the shoulders of giants in Latin. Those words it were, it was Isaac Newton who said those words. It's an ancient Greek proverb, but he said them because somebody gave him a compliment and he was talking about Jeremiah Horrocks. If he didn't have Horrocks, then we couldn't have had Isaac Newton in the same way. A group of local artists are campaigning for a permanent memorial in the city to the Liverpool astronomer. The campaign is being launched at Liverpool's Central Library on November 30th. He is forgotten, but not by those that know him. I mean, if you ever listen to interviews by Professor Alan Chapman of Wadham College, um, Frank Cottrell Boyce as well, who's speaking on Saturday also, um, there's a number of people who know about him and think about him with affection. Um, me personally as a sculptor, Horrocks is on a long list of Liverpool greats, people that have had a positive effect on grassroots people. Um, in this case, Horrocks, his scientific discoveries changed uh, the world of science and astronomy. All the shipping, um, all the shipping uh, charts had to be changed and as a result, Captain James Cook, 70 years later, went to Australia. These should be role models that we can use in education and in, in the classroom as well to show young people that somebody from very humble origins um, can go on to do achieve great things. Uh, he wasn't from aristocracy. He was probably middle class, lower middle class. His father was either a farmer or a watchmaker and his uncle was also a watchmaker as well. I do think people will come and see the statue um, there's a lot of people in astronomical societies, for example, right across the UK, 